Welcome back, it's Katerina. Hope you're all doing well today. I recently got the Morphe palette. I ordered it off Hot Look, and this is a 35W, so it's the warm palette. And when I received this the other day, I was feeling really inspired to kind of play around with some of these colors, to set up a tutorial for you guys. Kind of having an itch for fall. I'm still really enjoying summer, but it's like now in the 90s where I'm at right now, and it's kind of like, alright, I'm ready for some fall. So long story short, I thought it'd be fun to create like a really fresh, but still kind of glam, golden, warm, kind of like orangey, smoky eye. And then I'm giving you two lip options. This one, of course, is the more deeper plum berry one but I also have a nude lip option for you guys that way it's perfect still for summertime keeps it all fresh and just very warm okay so I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's get started to it I'm first gonna go with the Olay Fresh Effects mattifying primer you guys know I love this stuff I talk about it all the time here on my channel and then for foundation I'm gonna mix the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte I love these two so much especially when I use them together I feel like they give me a really great coverage last all day long and they keep me matte but they don't make me look flat if that makes sense and then here I am just gonna blend everything in with my beauty blender that's honestly just my personal favorite way of blending in my foundation for concealer today, I'm going to go in with first the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer. This is in the shade Nude. This is a beautiful peachy shade, so I really like using it to cancel out my blue under eye dark circles. Sometimes I do this before my foundation. Today I did it afterwards, but here I am just going to blend it again with my Beauty Blender. And then um, I'll do the Maybelline Master Conceal afterwards. So here I am using the Maybelline Master Conceal, having a little bit of trouble getting it on my nose though because of the application. Um, it's just a little squeezy tube, so it's really hard to get it out, but I love this concealer. It has a really great coverage, easy to blend, and also it's a little bit brightening as well. So now I'm going to do a little bit of the baking or cooking. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Translucent Powder and I'm going to use my Beauty Blender and just go over all of the areas that I put that concealer. And I typically let it sit for about 30 seconds to a minute and then I wipe it off with other products as well. This is just going to make sure that it lasts all day and doesn't crease. So I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. Are you guys so impressed? I'm not using the Simply Spoiled Perfection Palette. Um, I figured I'd reach for this. I haven't used it in so long. So I'm going to go in with the shade Banana and Vanilla and dust away all that powder but this is also going to add even more brightening to those areas. Really really been enjoying this technique lately. To set the rest of my face I'm going to go in with my tried and true Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in the shade 220. Large Kabuki brush just patting all over my face. So I did my eyebrows really quick because I do have a tutorial on it and I'll link it down below. But for all the eyeshadows that I'm doing today I am using the 35W Morphe palette. Um, this is my first time actually using this palette on my eyes and you guys I am so obsessed with this palette. So this is just like that orangey shade just putting that in my transition area. And then I'm going to go in with a more kind of warm tan shade with a 35, what brush is this? This is from Morphe. This is the M330. And I'm going to be Focusing this mainly on the outer area of my eye, but also bringing it inwards. And it's okay if it gets on your lid here because it's going to give a nice gradient effect. So for my actual lid area, I'm going to use a flat shader brush with this beautiful champagne kind of pearly shade. This shade is just stunning, you guys. It's so pigmented and frosty, and I really like that about this. It just really makes the eyes pop. And then I'm just going to blend everything together. That way there's no harsh lines. This look consists of a lot of blending, a lot of adding color, repeating the steps, and then blending. So I'm going to go with that same Morphe brush. I use that a lot in this tutorial with this deep chocolate brown. But like you can see, it kind of has a warm reddish undertone. Perfect for this look, and I'm really focusing on depositing most of that color on the outer V area and then slightly bringing it inwards about towards the middle of my crease. And then of course you just want to blend, blend, blend. I'm telling you guys this look is all about that blending process. And then here we are using that same champagne and then going to add it because some of it did get lost when we were blending and adding more color. And then here I am just going to touch up adding a little bit more of the orangish tan shade. For my brow bone, I'm using two kind of off-white vanilla shades. One's a little bit more peachy because I don't like stark white highlights, but this is just going to make everything look clean up there. And then once again, going to blend. For my lower lash line, just very simple, going in with the orangish tan shade and then the um, deep chocolate brown. And then my eyes, I'm using the Rimmel Scandalize in the shade Black to Tight Line. This is really good if you have hooded eyes like I kind of do because it gives your eyes definition but doesn't take up lid space. And I'm also just going to curl my lashes and then go in with that YSL Volume Effect Mascara and the Dior Dior Show Iconic Over Curl. First, going in with the YSL, I really love this one. Look how much volume it gives, but it doesn't um, make your lashes clumpy or anything like that. And then I like to go in with the Iconic afterwards. So here's the Iconic one, just adding some more volume and length. 
and this is what the eyes are looking like. So let's go ahead and finish up the face a little bit. For bronzer, I'm going to use the Lorac. This is actually a blush, but I always use it for bronzer. It's in the shade Hollywood. It's a beautiful kind of copperish bronze shade, and I'm using the Real Techniques blush brush here, just really focusing on my um, hollows of my cheeks, just where we're going to contour. Then I'm going to go back into the Anastasia contour kit, use all three of the bronzers down below, and chisel out my face. I do have to be honest with you guys, though, I was not feeling this palette ever since I got the Simply Spoiled Perfection palette. I, I don't reach for this and there's a reason for it because I really enjoy the other one so much more. But here I am doing my lip and my nose as per usual. And then for our blush today, I'm going in with the um, Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I don't use this blush all that much because it doesn't really show up on me. But this brush that I'm using is really dense so I was able to get a little bit of color and it was a perfect kind of peachy look with this look. Then I'm going to take my Kabuki brush and just kind of blend everything out. Make sure there's no harsh lines because they work looking a little bit harsh. And for my highlighter today, I'm going to go with my City Color Trio. You guys know I've been talking about this a lot lately. I go in with that golden shade, and I'm just going to focus on highlighting a lot of my face. Can we talk about also how serious my face just got when I started highlighting? I, I really get into my highlighting, apparently. So I'm taking this on my cheekbones, down the center of my nose, and I've also been enjoying doing the tip of my nose. I didn't used to like doing this, but it actually does lift my nose a little bit, so I do like that. I also hit my Cupid's bow. was going to do my chin, then I was like, oh, nope, I don't like doing that, never mind. But I am going to hit my temples just a little bit as well. So for lips, we're going to do the first lip option. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Lip Liner in the shade Raisin. I use this literally for so many different lip looks. It's just a perfect kind of um, neutral mauve berry shade. So I'm first doing the kind of nudish peachy look that's going to be perfect for summertime still. This is the uh, NYX or NYX Cosmetics round lipstick in the shade Pure Nude, but it is a little bit peachy in my opinion. Um, and I'm just going to do dabbing motions and then also uh, swiping motions and then proceed to blend it in with my finger just a little bit and go over that with the City Color Matte to Gloss. This is uh, this clip is out of frame a little bit, but it'll get back to normal in just a minute. Um, it's just a beautiful kind of mauve nude blush, and this is the first lip option. So for the second lip, which is my personal favorite because it's finally getting into that little vampy lip that I love so much, going with the same lip liner, but I'm being a little bit more aggressive here and filling my lips all the way in with this, and then using the City Color City Chic Lipstick in the shade uh, The Secret of Fair. You guys, this is such a beautiful fall lipstick in my opinion. It's just such a gorgeous kind of plum grape cranberry shade, and I just love it. It really converts this whole look into fall. It's crazy how one lipstick can do that. And so this is a completed look, you guys, with the second lip option. Alright you guys, that completes this makeup tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also, let me know if there's any other looks that you'd like to see from this Morphe palette. Just give this video a thumbs up if you want to see a couple more. Or if you want like a full, in-depth tutorial or anything about this, I can definitely do that as well. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, that way you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all doing well today. Today is going to be my July favorites. I hope everybody had an amazing month of July. July was an awesome month for me. My boyfriend and I went back home to Washington. We drove back home to see family and friends. It was our first time from moving here to